Western culture is defined by its belief in the idea of progress. This goes back to the Enlightenment of the 18th century. The perceived value of science leads to the belief that science will inevitably improve our lives. This has resulted at times in technological utopianism, which tends to exaggerate the transformative potential of technology in our lives. A prime example is expectations about the Internet. First, the Internet was supposed to offer us a new economy, but that idea died out with the dot-com bubble. Then came Web 2.0, which was all about social networking and promises to democratize various cultural industries like publishing, journalism, and film. Time Magazine's 2006 Person of the Year was you, referring to the content creators on social media sites, wikis, and blogs. Then came Donald Trump, one of the most authoritarian uh, presidents in modern times, who was elected through a Russian influence campaign that spread fake news through platforms like Twitter and Facebook. But there were more suspicious connections. Jared Kushner, Trump's son-in-law and de facto campaign manager, was in business with Yuri Milner, who had made investments in Facebook and Twitter that were backed by hundreds of millions of dollars from the Kremlin. Kushner and Miller are in business together in a company called Cadre, which also received backing from Peter Thiel, the founder of PayPal. Thiel also became one of Trump's most trusted advisors. Thiel is among a group of former employees and founders of PayPal, who are known as the PayPal Mafia, because they have since gone on to found and develop other technology firms, such as Tesla Motors, LinkedIn, SpaceX, YouTube, Help, and Yammer. Thiel was also the founder of a CIA-backed company called Palantir Technologies, which specializes in big data analysis for the intelligence community. Thiel named the company after the crystal ball used in by the evil uh, Lord Sauron in The Lord of the Rings. It was also discovered that Palantir coordinated with Cambridge Analytica in their intrusion of Facebook. Palantir is the principal company behind the design of software used for the NASA's PRISM program. PRISM was a successor program to the Total Information Awareness Surveillance Program of the Information Awareness Office established in 2002 by DARPA, which created the Internet in the first place. Known originally as ARPANET, it was initially funded in 1966 as an interlocking system of computers that could survive a nuclear attack. Following public criticism that this spying technology could potentially lead to mass surveillance, the Information Awareness Office was defunded uh, by Congress in 2003. Andy Jacobson, author of The Pentagon's Brain, an unauthorized, uh, an uncensored history of DARPA, believes the downfall of the program was largely due to the backlash against its logo, which featured the spooky pyramid and all-seeing eye. However, several um, IOA projects continue to be funded and merely run under different names, as revealed by Edward Snowden in 2013. Prison's existence was revealed when the Washington Post and The Guardian published documents leaked by Snowden, which exposed the government, uh, exposed the involvement of Microsoft, Yahoo, Google, Facebook, PalTalk, YouTube, AOL, Skype, and Apple. Companies like Facebook are designed to collect personal information for both commercial and military purposes, but they encouraged participation in their platforms as social networking. This has created a culture where people feel compelled to voluntarily share their personal information on the internet without being aware of its true purposes. The internet is a powerful tool that is transforming our lives in amazing ways and even bringing the world close together. But like any tool, it can be used for less noble purposes. We should use the tools at our disposal, but we should use them wisely and not be naive about what ulterior purposes they might serve. In fact, we may even be able to use the tools that the internet has provided to expose when they are being misused and encourage a world of collaboration that is truly open and transparent.